Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Artori Gold, and today I'd like to go over McCree. So he recently got an insane buff, and I've definitely noticed he is way stronger. And honestly, I don't even know if he needed this buff. I mean, this guy was already at a really good spot, and he was selected on a lot of King of or control maps or King of the Hill maps. And now that his fire rates increased, you're getting your ultimates quicker, you're putting out more DPS. Um, there's all kinds of things happening with McCree, and I kind of want to go over that that in this video I want to go over maybe a little bit of uh, how strong he is and what situations you want to play him um, although he is extremely strong I wouldn't play him in every map and in every situation I just want to go over just how much damage you're putting in I mean for example in this video the entire fight starts right and after one entire fight I already get 50% of my alt charge all you need to do is just constantly hold down the left click button and, and just plow the enemy with bullets i mean the, it's barely been like 10 seconds and basically all i do is just shoot at tanks now this is something that you don't usually want to do especially on dps heroes because sometimes it's better to go for the backline the support and the dps because you can usually just headshot them and flashbang and right click or flashbang headshot them and you'll just get an immediate free pick as mccree and that kind of was the play style for a long time um, but with this buff I think it's actually really valuable for you to just hold down left click on tanks. I mean, you're 20, I think it's like 20% more DPS overall. It's so hard to miss on a tank as McCree. And if you're up close and personal and you're behind your own Reinhardt or, you know, whatever tank you have, Orisa, and you're just sitting there and you're just left clicking, you're going to be able to even break shield. Um, it's actually very similar to Soldier 76. It's kind of strange because it feels like you almost fire at the same speed at Soldier 76, and you are way better than him now. I mean, Soldier 76 might have a place in the meta as more of a defensive, I'm going to run away and heal myself and then fight another day kind of play style. But overall, McCree has definitely taken over when it comes to DPS. Widowmaker is still going to outrange you, but you can kind of put McCree more on a frontline role rather than trying to be a flanking McCree, which is what a lot of people used to do, right? The general strategy was for you to go around, crouch, walk behind the enemy, maybe wait for like a tracer or some sort of other enemy flanker to go around a corner or maybe even try to spawn camp a healer. And then you would just flash bang and right click and bam, you got a free easy pick on McCree. But now that play style, I don't think you even want to do that anymore. I think the entire way you play McCree is you just frontline with them. I mean, you could effectively get picks still, but the DPS output is just so unbelievable. I even think that McCree can do pretty decently against goats not gonna lie uh, I don't know if anybody noticed this but Brigitte got a gigantic nerf um, it was actually a bug um, if you guys don't know about this bug apparently whenever she had armor from her rally that would stack on top of her normal armor and what would happen was is that armor would have additional damage reduction than normal I think it was supposed to be like 20 or 25 percent damage reduction which is normal but instead the stacking gave it like 40 to 45 percent so if you ever wondered why it was just so hard to kill a brig during rally or I just you know it seemed like she just couldn't die it was because of a bug I think it's kind of unbelievable that that bug existed for so long without it you know being found out and fixed but there we have it it has been fixed and for that reason goats got a pretty significant nerf because brig was of course key to that strategy and her rally just made uh the team just so hard to kill and of course they have the lucio and zen defensive ults on top of the rally which is basically kind of like a semi-defensive ult so now that that's been nerfed mccree's damage output against tanks as well as the pressure has been insanely increased um and high noon has actually become pretty valuable against tanks because of the recent change they had it um, if you can coordinate with your team and have them like shield you or protect you during high noon be like Reinhardt hold your shield up during my high noon and then you know as the longer you charge the high noon the faster it's going to generate and it's going to do more damage meaning that it's going to do a lot more against tanks because they have a lot more health to kind of charge onto um, so in that regard I think that McCree is in an insanely strong spot right now if you are looking to climb on the solo queue ladder I highly suggest that you play McCree he is insanely strong and he works on just about every single map 
The only maps where he is kind of outclassed on would probably be on two CP maps where Bunker is going to be better on defense. For example, if you are playing on Lunar Colony or Paris and you're defending the point. Uh, I would definitely have a Bastion, Orissa, Roadhog, you know, Baptiste Mercy. I would have that kind of strategy instead of McCree. And the only other situation where you're outclassed is against snipers. So maps like Watchpoint Gibraltar, where Widowmaker is really good, as well as Junkertown, where Widowmaker is very good, you're going to get outranged by just, you know, the sniper shots, um, including Hanzo, and they're going to one-shot you. You could try to be a more flanking McCree in that strategy, but I think there are better Better options but for the most part McCree is better on just about every map if you are playing control or king of the hill then McCree is overpowered absolutely just destroys everybody I mean if you watch the overwatch league at all McCree was always picked because he is a short to medium range character and that is where he shines on those type of maps so definitely go out there Pick McCree if you're a DPS player, and if you're not playing McCree, then you are missing out on some free, easy SR. I promise. Pick this hero right now. He is incredibly strong. You don't have to really worry about anything but mechanics. That's all you need to focus on. Positioning is fairly simple. You just stick with your team. As long as the enemy team is, you know in front of you just shoot them that's all you need to do you don't really even need to be like i'm going to focus back line i mean i'm going to focus on this hero you can literally just hold down left click and shoot people your dps output is insane i think that you're going to provide more pressure to the enemy front line than a junk rat would right like junk rat specializes in just shooting the front line shooting mines shooting shield break kind of things and i think you put out more pressure than he does right now which is kind of insane um and then of course if the enemy team is running dive then you're you're even better like you just wait for the enemy team to dive on you you flash bang them bam they're done that's all you gotta do right anyways guys that's all i wanted to go out there and say i wanted to just talk and get the info out mccree is insanely strong and the brig nerfs have only helped him so get out there and play him thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time